Today we are bringing you guys a competitive pro clubs build with some tricks included as well that I'll be teaching you guys on competitive clubs to gain that extra bit of advantage against your opponents. Let's get straight into this with this build. We've got a 5 foot 10, 99 pounds build. One of the other builds I like using most years of can be 510 and this year it seems to work really well again. Another build that goes down quite easily in the box and you do win a good few penalties with. We've got the Technical Plus and the Rapid Plus playstyles. They're the best playstyles to have, in my opinion, uh, on the front there. We've got the Finesse Shot Trait, Incisive Pass, First Touch, Traveller, Quick Step, and Press Proven. Do your EAFC coins look like this, but you want them to look like this instead? Well, go and get yourself some cheap and reliable coins from IGGM and use code CAST for 5% off. All of these are very, very good to use this year, and they're the best ones you can possibly use. And up next, we're going to show you guys our skill points. We have gone all the way down on the acceleration. Cheat your archetype is what you need. We will get the acceleration, sorry, all the way down soon. We've got all the way down on sprint speed, uh, and that will give us 92 acceleration and 91 sprint speed. Shooting-wise, we've gone all the way down to the weak foot trick. We've got one on the free kicks. We've got long shots down on three, and we go all the way down to the finisher archetype. Nothing on passing. Dribbling is completely maxed out. It's something on this FIFA that I think you can have completely maxed out and it's needed because of how good dribbling actually is on the game. Maxing it out is going to give you such a benefit when playing this game, especially in a competitive setting. But let's talk about this build and why it's so important to do certain things in a competitive match. Free kicks inside of a competitive game. What should you do with them? Should you play them short? Most FIFAs, you play them short, you knock on about and you can see what you can do. This FIFA, that is not the case. If you have a good free kick taker in your team, Please, please, please shoot your free kicks. I take the free kicks with this build and I have scored them. It's really all you need to do on this FIFA. Keepers just don't... I can't save them as well as other FIFAs. It's like having an AI in net uh, at the same time as having a pro. If the keeper doesn't move across, they're going to get beaten. Um, and they're very, very easy to score in my opinion this year. Free kicks. I've been scoring a hell of a lot of them. And against pro goalkeepers, it's something that we have done this year that is very important. Let's talk about next. What else can you do? There are double taps and double A's. If you guys don't know what these are, basically, if you're under a bit of pressure, if you double tap your A button or your X button, depending on what console you are, you can quickly pass the ball off, and it's much more likely to get through a tight gap or give the ball to a teammate when you're under such high pressure. These need to be played through. And the double tap wise, that's another thing that needs to be used. If you've got a player running through a gap, but the gap is so tight and you think, oh, he's the only option, I want to try and play a risky through ball, Double tap Y, you are much more likely to get the ball to the player. It is a really, really nice pass. And it's something that on pro clubs works 10 times better than it does on ultimate team. Especially in 11, the 11 matches when you're going to have 11 separate people controlling players. It will force players into an animation that they do not want to do. And it will help you to score more goals. But hopefully you guys enjoy this build. And we will catch you in the next one. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.